Sir, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Nice to see you after a long time. Okay, sir. Thank you. you uh, just I came to you because uh, I'm a Delima. Okay. And I What's need your problem? guidance and support. Yeah. Sir, so what okay. happened? Uh, Sunday NEET conducted. In NEET exam, one question came in physics. Yeah. And uh, last year, what happened? I I said my relative to buy the new NCERT. Yeah. In place of old NCERT because some syllabus is deleted from uh, uh, NEET. So yes. he bought the new NCERT. Something in one question in physics, something written different in the new NCERT and old NCERT. Yes, sir. So where my relative is getting a lot of confusion. Yes. Even uh, in my college also, a lot of students are getting confused. What to do? Yes. So now, okay, it happened. It was an accident happened. But now, what to do for the upcoming time? We have to follow the new NCERT. Uh, we have to follow the old NCRT and what about first I want your guidance for this specific question came on uh, Sunday. Okay. So please uh, help me. Okay, please okay, guide. Sir. Thank you for asking me. So uh, let me share my opinion with you sir. Yes, yes. So if you look at the all the 50 questions that appeared in the Sunday's NEET exam, the all the questions they are being picked up from the content that is available in the old NCRT book, oh, but that not is from why. the new NCRT book. Yes, yes. So there yes, are yes, some yes. questions which are not present in the new NCRT. I mean the content, the theory behind those questions for answering this. And coming to this question, where even some students have ranked me to know which answer is correct for this. And yes, this yes, is the yes. one which I displayed here. Yes, yes, yes. I am remembering the same question related with atoms. Yes, yes, yes uh, you are right. This question is picked up from the chapter atoms from the secondary NCRT volume 2. And this question is statements are taken from the summary part of it. The first statement is the very first statement in the summary itself. And the second statement is the fifth one. And there are three sentences in between them the second statement is to be read and to be understood by going through all the first three sentences okay only then we can judge whether the second sentence is correct or incorrect sir. yes yes yes, sir, yes so sir. let me display what is there in that ncrt book so this is the summary part sir in that chapter yes yes if I have identified the very first sentence, atom as a whole is electrically neutral and therefore contains equal amount of positive and negative charges. There is no ambiguity at all in this and it is absolutely okay, true. Okay, they used verbatim of NCRT. Yeah, it's the yes, same yes, verbatim yes, they yes, have yes, used. Uh, this is a right. good thing. The second point says regarding the Thomson model, so there is no issue with that. Now look at the third and the fourth points which are speaking about the stability of an atom. Yes. If at all, Rutherford theory is correct. According to him, the electrons are in circular motion in the orbits and in that process, electron because of its acceleration, it will lose energy and it will fall into the nucleus. Yes. If so is the case, atom is, atom will not exist at all. Even there is no atom, there is no matter at all. So there is nothing to discuss. But what we see is everything surrounding us is made up of molecules and atoms. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So how to prove the existence of an atom? And that part is explained by Bohr. Yes. And that part is given in the fifth sentence. Sir. Yes. So yes, 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 look yes, at yes, the each element given. Is stable, yes. Atoms of each element are stable and emit mm. characteristic spectrum. Oh, I'm remembering so, same line yeah, came they, in the neat. Yes, they yes, have picked yes, up yes, the yes, same yes, sentence yes. as it is word to word, letter to letter, and okay. in that same spirit they have given this. And how this sentence is correct, that is explained in the subsequent points. No, these are the various spectra that is released by hydrogen atom. Now look at the seventh point, sir. To explain the line spectra emitted by atoms. So line spectra means line spectra is nothing but yes. the characteristic In spectra. With yeah, part. characteristic yes, spectrum yes, yes. emitted by atoms as well as the stability of atoms. So this is the point to be understood. So Bohr is trying to explain how the atom is stable. Yes. So yes, according sir. to Bohr, for these three reasons. Hmm. So I think, uh, it, yeah, uh, we have to move it up this. Yes, it will move like from here. Yeah, uh, look at the point A in this. Yes. The electron moves in the stationary orbit. That's what the point says. And B says the stationary orbits are there existing in that. Stationary orbits. Okay. okay. Sir, sir, I got uh, satisfied 100%. Okay. But what is your suggestion for the to the NTA? Like 
one student taken admission in 2024 okay and that student is having only the new ncrt yes not having the old ncrt i think in that case that student will go on different answer yes. because some word is written different you you yes. are knowing yes. physics better so what is your suggestion for nt and uh, nta which ncrt they have to follow because student will get a lot of confusion because they are having only one ncrt sir sir a change of a word just like atoms of each element and atoms of most of the elements it doesn't make a sentence incorrect here okay so whether you use the word most or whether you say each element okay or each atom of an element we have to consider that statement with respect to bohr theory and bohr says that according to his three postulates atom is always stable considering his theory it means uh, what i am getting i am sorry to say yes. what i am getting it means by changing that word there is no negative impact on the yes, statement there is no negative it's impact in that the there result no will be the also. same yes, the, the meaning of the sentence is the same yes it is the even same. by changing that word yes in fact they made it more correct with that little change in that okay okay it means yes. they will get more strength the students yes, that, will get more itself. clarity on yes, that more clarity in that by new ncrt yes yes yes, yes. now i got satisfied yes, sir. because na this was the question where so, uh, students are getting you confused. can report your children that both the statements are correct yes is the answer for that question okay. and it is uh, 100% true okay i think nta people will also go by that okay ha so, they have to go yes. because uh, uh it is your opinion and uh, yes. uh, uh that uh, in my view yes, you are the one of the most important yes. person in physics na. so so if you have looked at the pattern of the questions uh, one can understand the paper setter has been supplied the old ncrt version only yes yes yes, yes. so that implies ha you said what so, is there so in many that? questions that uh, they are not in new ncrt yeah, they that, came from that's what, uh, yeah so i think the paper setter followed the old ncrt yes, old ncrt sir okay sir so you explained the explanation of that question in a very good manner i think uh, all of my students and my relative is also getting satisfied sir it's good that uh, we will come on the original question yeah okay sir so Because, let me display uh, yes. that question yeah this is the one that surfaced in the sunday's neat question paper so as per ncrt book and with that we can conclude that both the statements 1 and 2 are correct so this is the answer for this statement 1 and statement 2 are correct okay it means uh, i think you all are getting that uh, sir said that statement 2 that uh, no not statement option 2 is uh, absolutely correct it means yes. both the statement are correct yes sir okay sir so right. thank you very much thank you sir so kind welcome. of welcome welcome okay. sir thank you